These are water babies. You can see the babies growing there nice and healthy. Look at the top. It's very, very healthy. And that goes to show that this loves water. Hello there. My name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. Sedevaria Harry Butterfield Super Donkey Tail. Look how gorgeous that is. Big, are you dry or whatever? I know you're full of cobwebs. This video, I'd like to show you the difference between the Super Donkey Tail to the Donkey Tail, the Sidum Morganianum or Burros Tail. So, this is what's left of my Burros Tail. I bought this a few years ago already and it has suffered a lot so I've had it growing on one side of this covered area before by the way to start off with I live in Canberra Australia we get frost in winter and they don't like frost so I've killed a couple of them already when I say killed the plant itself sort of died down and so I'm able to salvage whatever's left of it and then now has grown this again. So last winter I kept this here and last winter there's only a few bits. So I've actually redone the old plant or my mother plant and I've transplanted whatever little bits that was left over and put it here. So one thing about Buddha's tail is they love water. These are my water babies, burros tail. These two are grown in an area where it receives a lot of light. These two here are grown under an area where it receives less light. The water as well, I haven't changed the water. I just kept topping it up. And as you can see from the one that's been grown with a lot of light, you can see the babies growing there nice and healthy. And also the water is sort of much clearer compared to this one's here that has a lot of green moss but you can also see those babies in there growing under the water there's already an old baby that's already died and so even in the bottom there and that one's still growing in there as well so look at the top it's very very healthy and that goes to show that this loves water and even this one now i probably can't get it out so you can see Yes, I can, but I won't be able to slide it back in there. So it can survive on water, but maybe I have to change it. So this has been growing here for over a year. This has been growing in this container for over a year. And as you can see, it's growing some babies, even on the side. So that's when i realized that these plants do love water so i've been watering this one well at least this one gets watered by the rain so you can see some droplets there although overhead okay i'm gonna pan across that's my roof and it's being covered i've got this big column here so it's sort of protected so in areas we're in like we are in zone 9a i would say so we still get frost up to the coldest is minus 11 degrees celsius so we i can't really grow this out in the open i have tried growing this in the open there's also another one the burrito which is a smaller one my sedum burrito and that used to grow really thick long and lush here and last winter it got hit by the frost so minus 6.7 degrees Celsius and it suffered and a lot of it died but those new growth come up again when the weather got a little bit warmer. So this is my little burrito here. So as you can see that is much much smaller and I think prettier. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous. That looks like a corn cob isn't it? So this sedum burrito has been growing so beautifully in here in my 50% UV zone area so I've got a shade cloth covering the top of this so any dew that sort of lands and forms on top of the plant 
only gets 50% compared to the one that's on the other side that was exposed. So this is actually now a cutting from that plant. So this one has already seen two winters. And when it started before the first winter, they were only up to that level here of the pot. And then the second winter, this one, so these are the ones that was the first batch of this group. And it's now growing long and I just go and then now they're overhanging on the side and this is just so gorgeous so I would tend to grow a little bit more of this sedum burrito in the future the smaller form so we have the super donkey tail we have the donkey tail and then now this is the mini donkey tail more compact see the arrangement of the leaves is just so gorgeous it's just beautiful beautiful plant in tropical countries or subtropical areas that doesn't experience or do experience mild frost minus four is what i considered mild frost then they would actually grow really well in those areas provided you provide the good location for them wherein they can be semi-protected so if you just leave them out in the garden out in the open they will suffer the minus four but if you live somewhere say here in australia in sydney or in queensland then so tropical and subtropical areas then you will grow beautiful and lush sedum burrito or uh, sedum uh, burrus tail or the burrito so it doesn't matter but if it is me if i were to grow them if i say i live in sydney i would prefer to grow this cute no offense burrus tail but i just prefer the burrito much much better oh gorgeous Uh, summer they actually stop growing when it's warm that's what i noticed in summer they don't seem to grow and they sort of go dormant and when the weather cools down they grow but in winter they sort of stop growing again autumn they grow spring they grow and winter they stop growing again because of the frost so it's been challenging growing them in my area so this one i have some growing indoors as well that i've managed to grow quite long the more water you give them the stronger they become they not so easily get slapped around <laughs> and fall off so this one here see there's some already falling up the top oops so i don't really so sometimes when you <laughs> this was sort of semi watered okay so now this one is a really really dry one so this one i would assume that this one they would try and hang on to their leaves as well because they're all dried and curled up and look how okay come where are you going okay there you go so look how long it has now grown but i've been meaning to revive that but i just kept forgetting so you can see it's quite long and is growing well in there i kept it dry during winter and I gave it a couple of drinks since and it's still really 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 thirsty and it needs to be watered although you can see that's really 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 long now so I hope I, I don't forget to water that and then in here it's the same scenario here this ones I've got in one pot this is growing so well as well but this one is not a burros tail. This is a Harry Butterfield Sedevaria. And you can see when they do dry up, they look very similar to the burros tail. But this one is a super donkey tail. And you can see from the top, those are just cuttings. And I think they've taken, have you taken root? I can feel there's uh, some root, right? there's some resistance. So that has taken root. This one is my super donkey tail. Check that out. So. It's flowering as well. It's got beautiful flowers and I would say they have similar flowers to Morganianum. Almost looks like a Groptopetalum, isn't it? The flower. And this one, I find they are much hardier than the Sedum Morganianum. So probably this will survive minus 9 or minus 10. Whereas the Morganianum or Burr's tail can only survive minus 7. That black pot over there is also my long burros tail. Look at it. See how long that is growing in an area where 
it doesn't even have a lot of light in this spot here. I've got the light on right now, but if I turn the light off, there you go. That's the amount of light it has been receiving, especially on a cloudy day. On a sunny day, it's a little bit brighter. It's the same as when having the light on. And as you can see, the growth is a bit sparse, but nevertheless, it's growing. And I put a little dish on it so I can water it regularly. So I do let it dry up. And when I see that the bottom of this saucer is already dry, then I top it up with water. So I just watered her this morning. You can see how sparse that is. But, oops, oops. <laughs> I'm losing leaves. So they need a lot of light and water to grow strong and healthy and doesn't fall off easily. Oh, I just picked them up. This is what I don't like about them. And if I just take this and throw it anywhere, they will just grow like this one. So this one here are four years old and they started life with a handful of leaves that has fallen off from my original mother plant. And I just threw it in there in my little salt pot, which doesn't have any hole. And I let it dry up, probably too dry this one. And I kept watering it to the level until the water spills over and I leave it and water it again when I remember. And once a year, I will throw in a handful of fertilizer in there, or I use actually sea mongers and just throw it in there. And they seem to be doing really well. Only if I could <laughs> water them more often, that would be better. In summary, Cedo morganianum or Sedivaria hairy butterfield, both are fast growing succulents. They like a compost rich soil mix. I use my intermediate soil mix for all the three types of burro's tail or donkey tail, and all of them love water. Cedro Morganianum, dwarf donkey tail, or Borito, grows a bit slower than the other two because it's a more compact plant. In places that gets heavy frosts, so the very hairy butterfield or super donkey tail is a hardier plant than Cedro Morganianum, or standard donkey tail. But in tropical and subtropical places, they are equally fast growing as each other. They are easily propagated via cuttings or by leaves. That's all for our donkey tail video. I hope I'm able to give you a bit more confidence in growing these plants. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.